This is Mark doing my lemon bars because I do not want to be on camera. He does not want to be filmed. Okay, <laughs> the first thing we're going to do for the lemon bars, this is a great dessert, y'all. I mean, your family's really going to be proud of you when you do this. Uh, what we're going to do is make the pastry. We're going to make the crust. Now, to start out to do that, I am going to add to this food processor two cups of all-purpose flour, two cups. I know my measurements are good. Now this butter is ice cold. I cubed it up and it's ice cold butter because the trick to any kind of pastry is cold, cold, cold butter. And that's how many? That is one and a half sticks of ice cold butter. I've got a quarter cup of packed brown sugar. Light brown sugar. Yeah. And a half cup of powdered sugar. And about one teaspoon of fresh ground lemon zest. And I'm going to throw in that crust. Alright. Now, I've lost my lid. Alright. Now, in your food processor, you're just going to pulse this for about a minute until the dough comes together. Notice there's no liquid in here. All we're going to do is just press this into a grease pan. Alright, this is what your dough's going to look like. It looks like really wet sand. And from here, we've prepared this pan. Now this is a, um, what, 8 by 13 by 8? pan and I'm just going to dump all this into here just like that and press it in to make this crust. Okay y'all, Wayne has used this meat tenderizer, it's like a flat surface on the bottom, to really press this dough in. Now what do I forgot to mention a while ago was I put in a quarter teaspoon of salt as well. So there's a quarter teaspoon of salt in the, in the pastry crust. Now this is going to go in the oven and it's going to bake at 350 uh, 350 degrees for about 20 to 25 minutes till it's golden brown. While that's in the oven, we're going to work on the filling. All right, now we're making our filling, and in this bowl, I have four whole eggs plus two egg yolks. I'm going to go ahead and lightly whisk those up, and now I'm going to add in two cups of granulated sugar. Beep, beep, beep. Is that yellow color? I think gorgeous. And now, this is a third cup of all-purpose flour sifted. I'm just going to beat this up so it's smooth. And hopefully all of it don't go out onto the counter. Now see that's really good and smooth. Now I'm going to add in about a teaspoon of lemon zest. Mm. And one cup of freshly squeezed lemon juice. Now I strain that lemon juice through a, a sieve so that my seeds and everything wouldn't be in it. Okay, now I've let my crust cool for about five minutes and now I'm just going to pour the filling in. Over the hot crust. Uh-huh. Okay. Now this is going to go into the oven. I've reduced the heat to 300. It's going to go into the oven for about 30 minutes until it's just set. Now this has cooled to room temperature and Wayne's fixing to put the lid on it and it's got to go in the refrigerator overnight. 
two hours at least. Yeah. But, but, for, us, oh, hey, hey. but for us, it's overnight. Our lemon bars have sat in the refrigerator for overnight and all the next day because we were busy today. Um, but what you're going to do with your foil is just pick them up, move them over to a cutting board, or whatever you're going to be cutting them on. And then you're just going to remove this foil. Now we sprayed the bottom of the foil with non-stick spray. It's still a little tacky under there, but it comes off really, really easy. And these bars, once again, y'all, are so incredibly good. See, it comes off like foil real easy. And now, you cut them into your bars. Ooh, you have powdered sugar? I'm going to powder sugar. One of the bars. And y'all, you're not going to believe this this crust. You know something? We usually uh, sprinkle powdered sugar over the top of these before you serve them. And that's what I would suggest if you're doing them for a dinner party. But if you can look down here, look at the yellow. And look at that that flaky crust. I'm going to taste one. Without the powdered sugar? Mm-hmm. There's so much lemon in there. Mm. Sweet. Tart. The pastry crust is out of this world. Crunchy. They're so good. Y'all need to try these. See you later.